Hey friends, today I want to talk to you about our getting ready for our gather round space unit. So we are diving into this this month. We are starting right away. We just finished up human body. We're going on to space with Rebecca Spooner's gather, gather round homeschool curriculum. So let me show you what I've got as we go forward. Um, so I got her order this week, my order, her stuff. So I'll put our box over there. I ordered the gather round homeschool teachers what does this even say? Teacher's Guide. Teacher's Guide. And I ordered the Early Reader Notebook. My kids are four and six. I don't know how much my four-year-old is going to be involved in the actual paperwork and bookwork of it. So I think we're going to stick to just basically my six-year-old actually using the, the notebook. So that's what I have. Again, if you're unfamiliar, I shouldn't say again, if you're unfamiliar with Gather Around Homeschool, this is a unit study style homeschool that you can do gathering all your kids around at around for the lesson at any age so from pre-reader early like whatever like kindergarten pre-kindergarten probably even all the way up to grade 12 so what I have to show you here is only the early reader but you can do it in any age group and that's the beauty of gather on homeschool it's doing school with all of your kids and how that's able to happen is you do your lesson all together and then each kid is assigned their appropriate level of, of work that they have to do after that in their notebooks. So anyway, so we have our teacher's guide. I have my early reader notebook. I have a few things at home that I'll, I already have. I have our beautiful Julie Rothman book with the hand-drawn constellations out. I have our SkyMaster telescoping uh, binoculars. I am also going to go and borrow Grandma and Grandpa's telescope for the month. Um, I also purchased this back in the summer. This is Wonders of Learning Discover Space. I know you can get Discover um, Wonders of Learning things at Walmart. Um, I got this one at Winners. But anyway, basically in this kit, you can make your own mini kit with all of the planets that can actually be set up. Um, so yeah, it's Discover Space Educational Tin Set, Reference Book, Wall Chart, and Free Model Solar System. So it's plastic, but we're going to really enjoy making that. Um, also, I broke out our Charlie Brown encyclopedia book on featuring stars and planets because I think that'll be good. So I'm using our home library and I'll also be using our local library as well to incorporate some of the space things. In the early reader, actually right here, in the teacher's guide, there is a place where they have book lists. So you can find your, your child's age appropriate list and they have recommendations, which is really, really good. So I will be referring to that list, seeing what I can get from my local library, maybe doing a purchase on Amazon or two if I really think it's worthwhile, but I do like to stick to library books if I can. So I will take you a little bit closer in here so you can see inside a little bit, and I will be doing another video when we're all done to let you know how it went. Tune in. Okay, so in the teacher's guide, um, I'm going to flip it open here. One thing, uh, just about the general mm -hmm. construction of it, um, I ordered the print version, so this has a nice plastic cover, so it protects the color. It also has a really like plasticky black backing, so this book isn't going to be trashed if it slips in a little bit of water on the table or whatever. So I really like the paper quality. I love the binding quality. I love the fronts and backs. You'll notice that the notebooks are bound on top, so if you have lefties or righties, it doesn't matter. It makes it very easy for kids kids to use the notebook. I love the binding on top for that. Um, so in the teacher's guide, you're going to have your book list coming up first. Oops, I bumped the camera there. So book lists are first, and then you have your checklist. If you're check I'm a checklist person. This is great. So <laughs> checklist, your kids also can love checklists because they feel like they did something. She also has planner in front. If you're more of like, let's write everything out planner kind of person, or if you have to keep records, that's all in there too. I may or may not use that. We have introduction to the different lessons. Let's just go back to the index here. So we have introduction to astronomy, galaxies and solar systems, the sun, Mercury, Venus, Earth, the moon, Mars, asteroids, comets, and meteoroids, uh, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, dwarf planets, history of space exploration, life as an astronaut, rockets, stars, constellations, gravity, and light. Um, so there's a few worksheets in the back, a timeline, maps. Let's go look at that. 105. Okay, so there's the last lesson. Here we go. So there's all the stuff to set up a timeline. There's the timeline to cut out. So all this stuff you can kind of cut out. I plan on laminating, cutting it out and laminating all of this so we can use it in future years. There's a world map here. Here's some flashcards. I'll be laminating these as well and cutting them out. 
So all the different planets and stuff. Okay, so that is the teacher's guide. The early reader notebook. Again, I only have the early reader to show you, but in Gather Around Homeschool, there is a notebook for any child uh, age range or learning range. So we're gonna go this way. Again, same lessons, appendix. We, got, we have blink writing pages, um, lesson cutouts, stargazing, reading log, chart, Charts and chart the stars and key. Let's look at what's the chart the stars 129. Where's our page numbers? Oh, here we go. Okay, and this is part of the reading log. I like that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes, the chart the stars. Okay, this is actually something that you can cut out and you can do. So there's instructions here. This is for the northern hemisphere. Yeah. Here's the northern has to here here too. You cut this out. You cut this out so you can actually see what I believe this is where you can see the stars at what time of year, and you can use this chart to kind of turn and spin, so you know what you're looking at in the sky. So this is really cool. Um, I will be using these resources. I also actually use an app as well for stargazing that I can share in the link to, below, and I'll also be show, sharing in the follow-up video as well. So the new notebooks are like this. Um, quickly, just to flip through, I guess here we have like the different very colorful very beautiful work pages that the kids are going to do the copy work is nice it's like this it's with a really light light yellow dotted um copy words here so uh yeah very age appropriate for the early reader uh there's telling time i'm not going to get into all of that i'm going to do a more detailed video in the future so just a quick startup of what we're beginning with and if you want to see more of this go to gatheroundhomeschool.com to check it out it'll be worth it Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you're as excited about this new curriculum as I am. Gather on Homeschool just seems awesome. This is going to play, this trial month is going to play a big part in my decision for next year's curriculum. So I'm so excited to try it out and to let you know how it went next time. So make sure you stay tuned uh, for the next video. Hit the subscribe and the little notification bell so you know when that video comes to you. And I will give you all the details then. Have a great day, guys. Bye.